Uh, the key priorities uh, for public health are uh, to ensure really that, that all our residents enjoy uh, a, a good quality of life as well as length of life. And, and what we want to do is ensure that our programmes uh, in terms of addressing fuel poverty uh, and excess winter deaths uh, are reaching those residents in terms of our Warm Homes Healthy People programme. The aims are actually very simple, to keep patients warmer and healthier at home and hopefully reduce hospital admissions, readmissions and delayed discharge. I've been given an honorary contract to work with Ipswich Hospital and that's enabled me to attend stranded patient meetings and red to green meetings and the purpose of those meetings is to identify patients whose discharge may be delayed and where I come in is um, I try and help those who may be delayed due to heating and we provide an intervention and I make a referral into our project. So partnership working is one of the most important things that, that the organisation uh, needs to focus on now and that is working with a range of different providers, voluntary sector and also those statutory organisations like the local authority, uh, GPs, uh, mental health organisations etc. So Warm Homes Healthy People has been a fantastic initiative that has really helped us through quite challenging uh, winter months. Uh, Gary uh, has been a, an integral part of the team, he's attended board rounds, he's spoken to the chief nurse, senior leaders in the hospital and really helped us understand what is available, what help and support is available in our community for people who are going home to cold homes or have got issues with heating. It's really, really important that they are looked after and Gary and the team have really made a massive difference in how they work with our team and with uh, our staff. The work that we've done locally in both Suffolk and North East Essex has transformed the way that we deliver care through the winter, working closely with our neighbours, working closely with other agencies, professionals working together to maintain people in homes is the only way we've been able to manage the winter and we need to do more of that involving the third sector, making sure that we provide the best possible care to people in their own homes and they only come into hospital when it's absolutely essential. Cold weather has a really, really serious impact on the hospital. We know, for example, that if the temperature drops below two, two degrees against average for anything more than two or three days, we see a 10% increase in respiratory disease and cardiac disease coming into the hospital. That's a direct result of the cold snap. Even you go out there, you could set a jelly in the conservatory in 10 minutes. It was a misery. Look, I, in last winter, I was miserable. I was cold and miserable. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't a happy house. It wasn't a happy house. I wouldn't have known what, what I would have done without you. I'm so grateful. Now, I'm going to cry now. It's changed my life. I'm happier. I'm not down in the dumps no more. I'm not cold. Happy, content, so is my cat. <laughs>